we discovered um, as early as 2012 that young British Muslims were going to Syria in order to fight there. And that whilst they were being there, they were still active on social networks. It was almost as if they were posting online diaries of their time on the battlefront. And we quickly discovered that it wasn't just a handful of people, but that a lot of fighters from Western Europe were doing the same thing. So over time, we built a database which now contains the online social media profiles and the data from 750 Western Europeans who've gone to Syria and Iraq to fight. We were collecting more than two million tweets coming out of Syria and Iraq a month at one stage. And what that shows is very, very few people travel to Syria and Iraq without knowing somebody else who had gone. So in essence, you have this very small cohort, in fact, of people who went with no existing connections, and then they established the rat runs uh, and recruit five of their friends, and those five recruit five of their friends. And so you see how these chains grow exponentially, but actually from a logistical point of view, it all comes down to just a few figureheads who went out in the first instance. And that is something we can see very clearly in the data. Governments from across the world have been contacting us for a two to three year period now in order to better learn uh, about what's happening. So we have this ability to work with governments and institutions of power, but we are frequently also criticizing them when we think they're getting it wrong. We're entering the second phase of the conflict, really. It's no longer about going to Syria. It's now about what happens to the people um, who are still there and who may consider going back to their home countries at some point. One of the biggest challenges will be to be able to distinguish between fighters that return home that are disillusioned, that want to demobilize, and people who still pose a risk. And security agencies' ability to distinguish between those groups will decide um, whether we will get more terrorism or not. And that's where research and our center can be helpful.